Almost everybody says that they hate a liar. But I sometimes think that they hate someone telling the truth more than they hate someone telling them, telling a lie. Now, unless, however, the lie was from, say, a narcissist or something. Uh, like you went to, you were in a narcissistic kind of relationship and the person was mentally and emotionally abusing you and telling you how worthless you are and all that other shit, right? And you believe the lie. Then in that case, the truth will, it would definitely feel like it was saving, you know, saving you of setting you free from all that, you know, from all that pain. But on the flip side, when someone, and oftentimes people, when they tell a lie, they tell a lie that is going to make you feel good. And in, in that case, those people hate someone telling them the truth because... The truth, in that case, is often not as exciting or sometimes not as positive or not even positive at all compared to the lie that was told. And as somebody who has grown up, as I've said before, very isolated in my day, everything that was around me externally, I learned and processed this information in myself. I didn't have somebody there instilling so much their own ideas and belief systems and trying to direct how I was processing that information. So oftentimes I would say I, I generally know the truth on a lot of things. Does that mean that I know everything? No. It just means again that I didn't have uh, I just didn't have the truth being filtered through a lot of other people's opinions in my upbringing. Um, what oftentimes I would do is just observe people. Someone will say that it's, that it's whatever they're talking about. They'll say it's this, and then someone else will say it's that. And either I find out that one of them was right, or none of them were, was right. Or I'd always just observe what actually happened. And then once I figured out, you know, what was going to happen, what the results were going to be, that's when I abstracted the truth. That's when I realized, okay... When this and this and this happens, usually this thing happens. That's how I processed information growing up. But I also learned that people hate you. People absolutely hate you if you open your mouth and you tell the truth. Once again, especially if the truth is not as exciting or is not as positive as the lie that they were being told. They hate you. <laughs> they project a lot of hate. And it is very difficult to come out and do this. To speak. See, I had to filter out and say, well, to speak my truth. You know, because if I came out and just said, speak the truth, people will just accuse me of being egotistic and thinking I know everything. And, it'll, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll project onto me whatever makes them sort of be able to deny what I'm saying. Even if what I'm saying is the truth. So I'll say my truth. <laughs> but as I said, it's very hard to do this. Why? Because the more you tell the truth, the more people don't want to be around you. The more they'll avoid you. The, the less they will support you, even if you're doing the right thing. That's what I learned about this place. You do the right thing, you get punished for it. <laughs> even by the very people who are sitting there claiming all day long that doing the right thing is better than doing the wrong thing. You know? Do you know how different... Here I am. I'm, here I go again. I'm going to tell the truth. Do you know what it feels like for being a Pisces? Being a Pisces sun, but being an Aquarius moon. Pisces in me wants to go with the flow. Pisces wants to believe in a lot of this woo-woo shit. But the Aquarius in me wants to prove it first, wants to analyze things first, wants to ask the questions. But since everyone else is living, still living in the mindset of the age of Pisces, they're interpreting everything they're doing through the eyes of a, someone who's lived in the age of Pisces. And so internally, I'm looking at everyone else as in, did you test this first? Did you check whether or not this thing actually works? And they don't want to do that. But I do. And whenever I ask the questions and I get them to think about this stuff, they get angry because they don't want to think about it. They want to stay in a belief system. 
But the thing is, though, we are in the age of Aquarius. Now it's about what do you know? Do you know these things actually work? Or did you believe these things actually work? If they did stuff that you maybe were unaware as to what was going on, is it still what exactly it is that you think that was doing whatever it is that you think it was doing? Or is it could be something else completely? How much do you actually know? But I said it's difficult because I'm not, you know, you don't get supported. You don't get supported. I'm not being, I don't feel supported. I know there's a lot of background stuff going on. I'm going to once again tell the truth. Not all of it. <laughs> but I know. I have some ideas. That's what's going on behind the scenes. But I still don't feel supported. Well, maybe I am being supported. I don't know. it. I don't feel that way. Every time I look at a video and there's not a comment and there's not a like, I'll ask why. Did the person not know? And it, it, it was, I felt this way on, in, when I used to do this on Facebook. I would ask why. Did they don't know what to say? Did I piss them off? I don't like, and I'm I'm just again just telling the truth. I'm not I'm not trying to gain anything. I'm not trying to trick anybody. I'm just telling people how I feel. What is it like to be to be someone who is in my position? But you wonder why you're not being supported, and of course the answer is very simple. It's always been very simple. If I wanted the support, if I wanted to be famous, if I wanted to have this channel grow quick, all I had to do was go with the current of the trends. Whatever the herd, whatever the groups of people that are uh, doing, I would just go along with it. It doesn't even have to be original, just as long as it's what everyone else is doing, and because, well, that's what they're accepting. So I'm letting you know right now, if your channel's blowing up, you're a tarot card reader or, or an, whatever you are, if anything is trending, you're going to have that traffic in going on in your area. It doesn't mean that necessarily that your brand or whatever is necessarily the best. Or, it doesn't. No, that's not how it works. Whatever the ma majority of people are wanting, they'll go after. And, that, and when you're in that center, when you're in that, when you're in that area of wherever that's flowing, it makes no difference whether you're telling a truth or a lie. And I'm not here saying that everyone that's in that center is telling a lie. That's not what I'm saying. I'm simply trying to explain it, the truth, that if I wanted to be popular, all I had to do was do what everyone else is doing. All I had to do is repeat the same thing that everyone else is accepted to be true and not uh, and not uh, try to challenge the, the established quo, not try to challenge the... Uh, the uh, established opinion. Maybe not necessarily all trying to destroy it, but at least question it. Again, do these things work? How do you know it works? You know, how how are you even able to know how this stuff works in a here and now sense? Because that's the only way you're gonna know whether something works or not is the here and now. Unless, of course, you're just you know choosing to believe something without any evidence, without any proof. For the sake of whatever. Maybe it makes you money. Maybe it makes you feel good. Whatever the case is. But it doesn't necessarily make it the truth. Personally, I think that my job here is to do the very difficult job of t doing this stuff. Telling the truth as it is. Let me bring you back to another person some of you might know or know about. The guy's name was Jesus. Right? And no, I'm not saying I'm Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm giving examples. Whether you believe in Christianity or not, it's not the point. The moral of the story is. Think about what Jesus did. He was teaching people that were very much uh, thinking like the age of Aries. They were thinking eye for an eye. Whatever I want. Me, 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 me. Right? What was he trying to teach? Pisces shit. <laughs> You know, you could also interpret that as a little bit of Aquarian stuff, who knows. But, you know, he's trying to teach people, no, you got to come together, right? you got to take care of one another, that, that sort of thing. Think about it this way. Uh, if you remember the story where this woman was doing some shit, I guess she wasn't supposed to do, and they had a bunch of angry people wanting to stone her to death. And Jesus, you know, stepped in and said, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Let me ask you this. 
do you guys do this shit? Well, of course, I know he didn't <laughs> say it in those exact words, but do you guys do this? You're going to stone her for doing this, but what did you, what did you guys do? Right? Maybe your asses need to be stoned to death. You ever think about that? Oh, no, you didn't? Uh-huh. Yeah, I caught you. Don't stone this chick. She's no different than you are, right? But they were all Aries, right? Just do, just kind of doing what they're wanting to do, kind of recklessly and stuff. And that was Jesus' role, is to teach the age of Pisces type of shit. Now I'm here trying to pretty much teach a very similar, you know, similar message. You know, it's not about, it is not the age of Aries. <laughs> it's not even the age of Pisces either. It's the age of Aquarius. It's kind of similar to the Pisces ship, but it's like, look, yes, be your individual self. Be your individual self. And even if the established quo tells you how to live and says that you living or having a kind of relationship like this, I'm not even going to use any labels, but you know, any kind of relationship that new age people would say deem to be not healthy for you, fuck them, <laughs> right? You do, you live the kind, you, you experience the kind of relationship that works for you, no matter if new age people agree with it or not. That's the point, is being who you truly are. That's the truth. Not this one size fit all, fall this sort of religious release. No, none, and I swear, not, almost none of these people are actually natural born psychiatrists uh, or people who understand human psyche very well. Most of them don't. Most of them, again, are just kind of going with the lie and just repeating themselves. That's it. This is exactly how I felt like when I started doing that Facebook shit years ago. Nobody was listening. I don't know who's listening now. The only thing I, only thing I could say that's good about now is that, well, I could tell the I could tell you what the real mistake was. It wasn't the message that I was making. It was that there was exposure. Sound familiar? Someone, someone that made a comment <laughs> uh, to me not that long ago. It is about exposure because. Um, I could have, I mean, I was sitting there thinking, oh, these people, or the message I was saying, oh, you know, maybe it's the message. Maybe if I said it this way, I said that. No, it wasn't the message, it was them. They weren't willing to hear it. Now that I'm on YouTube, I could be exposed to a lot more people. Even a lot more people that have more influence than, than me, that I might get to, that they might, hey, this guy's got a point. I don't want to do this anymore. Or I want to do something different, something that isn't. Based on fantasy and something that is actually going to help someone, you know. Who knows? But I know that I'm more exposed now than I was when I was just doing it, trying to do it to a few people that said they loved my work and shit, but, like, again, did not engage with me pretty much at all. Not really. But, again, they went back. This is exactly how I felt back then. The only thing, remember, I told you, I feel this way now. My intuition tells me don't do it. But you know why I'm not listening to that? You know, here's another example. You know why I'm not quite listening to that? Because common sense logic tells me that's just my experience from the past. It's a little different now. So it's, diff it's different. It's not me repeating the same thing. It is different now. I'm be I'm more exposed. But it's still difficult to do. <laughs> this last thing I have to address as well because I get I get this a lot uh, when I do this spiritual work with people. Okay. If you yourself can only see two options ahead of you, and yet I can see 15, 20, 25 options ahead of me, it does not mean that I'm being the unrealistic one because I don't see your two limited options, okay? If you know that I'm, I'm a Pisces and I'm an Aquarius moon, you know, some of you even don't have my chart, you know that I can see all kinds of probabilities, I can see all kinds of things on how they connect. My, my, I have a hyperactive mind, okay? And if I'm telling you that I see 20, 25 options, again, I'm not necessarily being unrealistic. But I run into that a lot when people don't, uh, when people are mad that I don't just see it in their, in their limited two, <laughs> two options. Another thing that happens is if I'm able to prove that third option, or those, you know, because most people are not going to want 20, 25 options. But I give them a third option. 
and they let's say I prove it to them. I prove them wrong. Instead of taking the advice and being happy with it, they get egotistic with it. They get angry because, you know, how dare I prove myself to know what I was talking about? They'll get angry because they feel like they're not being heard because they wanted to be right with their two limited options. And what they'll do is they'll retract themselves away from me because eventually they'll feel like, well, there's no point in me voicing my opinion because he's going to have something else to say about it that's going to kind of override my opinion or I'm going to have to constantly change my mind. And um, it, it all boils down to the feelings. It all boils down to not being heard. And it's not that I don't hear you. Again, it's just that I see more options. And the way this should ought this ought to be, and this goes including for me too. There's things I don't know. No, I don't know everything. I know a lot, but I don't know everything. I, for instance, I still am studying tarot. Ironically enough, I still study tarot. Uh, I still want to know. Still, am I doing? Am I using it wrong? Does this thing work? What are the meanings behind it? Like, what's really going on here? Um, I want to learn astrology. I don't know a whole lot of things about astrology. There are things that 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 other people can teach me, but they can't teach me what I already know. <laughs> and I know people and human beings very, very well. I know human psychology probably the best out of anything that is out there. That's my that's my that's my shtick. <laughs> Is, is human psychology. And we're not talking the stuff you learn in school. We're talking about a sort of like internal experience type of shit. I'm saying this in case uh, I'm not getting comments because people don't feel like their opinions are, are worth hearing. The mature way of going about this is if you say something and I say something back, the goal for both of us should be to get to an answer. Or if we choose not to get into an answer, if you don't see it the way I see it and I don't see it the way you see it, guess what? Who cares? Because <laughs> if one of us is right and one of us is wrong, whoever's wrong is going to figure it out on their own anyways. I don't see how any of that should uh, should get in the way of other things such as friendship and stuff. Like Some of you are going to totally disagree with what I'm saying. You're going to point out and say, well, he's coming off like a know-it-all or <clears throat> whatever it is that you think that I'm doing. But I just, I just am mature enough to let, and again, and there are some of you who, who are doing things that I don't agree with. But again, I'm not going to let that uh, judge, have me judge you as a person. You know, you could be a very nice, kind person and believe in this stuff and I don't agree with it. But I, again, I don't see how any of that should get in the way of, of friendships or anything like that. So I'm just, letting, I'm just saying this because I want, I want people to know I hear you. Okay, I'm listening. But again, if it's something that I feel like I already know this, I'm going to share my, my point of view as well. If you want to teach me something, teach me tarot. Teach me astrology. Teach me numerology. Teach me things I don't know. Ask me what I don't know and I'll tell you. And then you can, if you know that, you can then teach me that. And I won't, and you'll be, and I won't have anything to say about it. You'll have the experience of having shit over me, you know. And I, I mean, I'm I, again. I just wanted to say that because again, I know what people are generally going to think. Anyways, if you listen to this, thank you for listening. I will talk to you later.